Hi everyone and welcome back to my IGTV. If you're new here, my name is Kiara and this is my little nook of the internet. And today we're gonna have coffee with the best of some nude lipsticks. Um, I will link everything up so it's easier for you to kind of get all the information and see it. Uh, but I'm gonna swatch them on my hand because if I had to swatch all my lips and I mean, I'm already sweating from places like the backs of my knees because it's so hot. I mean, I shouldn't complain because staycation vibes, you know, because, you know, Corona is really getting in the way of everyone's lives. But we're enjoying it. We're making the most of it. We are indulging at home. So we all know everyone is on the hunt for a good nude. And these are the only nudes that I like to look for. So. I thought I would share with you some of my favorites. Some of them are matte, some of them are a little bit glossy, some of them are actually glosses, and some of them are a little bit more expensive, some of them are high street or drugstore. So I thought it's a little bit of a good mix. And these are honestly some of my favorite, 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 favorites. I have to prerequisite and say that two products I use all the time that whenever I have a nude lip on is the Lip Liner Cork by MAC and the Lip Liner Spice by MAC. I kind of put cork on the outside, kind of color it in with spice and then I pop on these lipsticks. So without further ado, let's start. Now I love By Terry. I mean I did a by a, like you know a By Terry haul review of the thing, of the brand, the thing, the thing. As you can see, caffeinated, ice caffeinated, but still caffeinated. Anyway, I love this. Now, this is a little bit of a glossy thing. I think it does come in a matte version. So this is a really good nude. Now, also nude depends on your skin tone and all that type of thing. I will talk about the textures of these lipsticks as well. So you get an idea and you can maybe find a color that suits you. But for anyone with my kind of skin tone, these are nudes that work for me. So like one is this by Terry one which is called Hot Bear, and it is the By Terry Lip Expert Shine. And yes, it does shine, it glistens. There is a beautiful gloss to it, but it's not like sticky or anything like that. I've got the, this on now. And it's just, and when even the shine kind of disappears, it leaves the color on, because there's nothing worse than the gloss going, the color going, and you being like, why, am I, why do I look like that? No. So this is a really nice one. You know, no 16 year old super glossy, glossy lips. No, no, no. So now onto another by Terry product that, honestly, I love this as well. I'm gonna say this about all of them, aren't I? So this is gonna be another problem. Now this is, I think, a velvet formula. So it's not meant to be super glossy. So which is this one over here. And it is in the color number two and it is called a velvet rouge so it does have some it it kind of is not i'm not going to say shiny like you can see this one is like a shine this is a cut like a kind of sheen to it but it's more on the matte velvet side and i have to say this wears really beautifully and it dries down but you know sometimes when you have like a matte or a liquid lip it is too drying it feels like you can't top it up you feel like you have to take it off and restart this you don't you can just top it up and i love this this is like a really good lipstick for when you're going out all day and it stays like the staying power is really good so i highly recommend this one like by terry i mean i love by terry absolutely love by terry let's stick to the brand because i feel like it'll make more sense now this is a gloss but this is not like many other glosses. It's not just a glitter or anything like that. It actually has a bit of a punch of a color to it. This is in the color nine. I think it's Bitten Splash is the color. The, the name has rubbed off. So, um, and it's this one. And as I was saying before, like this, it is a gloss, but this is more of a gloss. It's not meant to be a lipstick per se, but this is like a gloss. But it is just so comfortable. It's not glisteny. It's not glittery. It's not like your 16 year old self glitter gloss. Do you know? Um, so it's like an adult gloss. And you know, by Terry, she's chic. She's subdued. Subdued? That's not the word. Subtle. But yes, those are my three products from by Terry that I absolutely love. They're a perfect nudes. As I mention all these products as i said i will link them all above so when you click up there all the links will drop down which is going to be easy for you to shop for anything if it tickles your fancy now onto the slightly bougie range 
do we recognize this this is a tom ford lipstick i bought this lipstick not uh, quite recently actually i feel like i always avoided buying a tom ford lipstick excuse me whilst i get comfortable in this chair i've hurt my legs so I'm trying to find my balance of trying to sit properly um i hadn't tried a uh, tom ford lipstick before and you know what i'm very impressed it's is it worth the price point yes because you get all of this and the product is good now this is the color wicked ways and it says matte and i think if i'm not too mistaken all these lipsticks they come in the color and they come in different finishes and i got the matte because i do like a matte but of late i've kind of been drawn towards a sheeny lip but you can always add a gloss whilst you know a matte is a good long-standing type of lipstick and this is a very good long-standing lipstick now as you can see this is a little bit more deeper than the by cherry ones so it's a little bit darker but oh it's luxurious and for a matte lipstick it's not drying it you don't feel like it's clinging to those dry bits so if you've forgotten to exfoliate she's still good and oh a tom ford lipstick highly 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 recommend that color and did i mention the color wicked ways wicked ways witchy then pat mcgrath I mean look let me show you this this is a book i love just keeping this on my dressing table because it makes me so happy it's so pretty oh got a little kiss on it now pat mcgrath um this is the first product i've tried from the range i've seen some lip balms that i'm kind of eyeing up not lip balms they're called like lip fetishes if i'm not mistaken sorry i'm messing with my hair because it's so hot um the lip fetishes which are these glittery ones anyway i digress this is a lip product that i got and it is called pat mcgrath lavish color lavish i want to say this is matte or does it have a sheen to it it is matte it's matte oh look at that it's it's a little bit more bricky colored but it is a really nice new to like pop on pop on and i i love this color and it's very comfortable it's very creamy as a formula and obviously because it's done by the queen that is pat mcgrath you know it's going to be good and she's thinking about the wear the tear the how it will last and how comfortable it is and it's it's such a beautiful color so pat mcgrath lavish get it and if you don't get it to use at least get it so you can keep you on your little arsenal of beauty look at it it's so cute so cute now another queen of makeup charlotte tilbury and these are two colors that oh i love let's start off with the slightly more brickier color which is bond girl now this is a, just a little bit i mean it is a little redder hear me out but sometimes this type of color complements my type of skin tone and is almost like a nude but with a bit more of a deeper tone and it's more red so this i love it's just such an easy kind of if you're kind of going a little bit more bolder with the nude um instead of it being like you know corpse nude it's a nice color look from afar it's nude it's nude i think it's a nudie color but if we want to go nude if we want to go you know we are nude what's the 90s and nude lip thing mm, yeah we can say 90s kind of 90s nude lip or if you're doing a heavier eye and you want your eyes to do the talking this is a color by charlotte tilbury called very victoria and it's beautiful with as i said the lip liners cork and spice it just adds a little something these are not uh sheeny lipsticks but they're not super matte either but charlotte tilbury lipsticks ha are renowned for being comfortable to wear and long lasting and highly recommend them and if you do again if you don't buy them because of the product look at the cut look at this looks beautiful let me just tell you, when I look at my dressing table, sometimes I'm like, oh my god, everything's so pretty. Now, these are two products that you can get from the drugstore, which are these two. Now, have you tried those Clinique lip perfectors? I think that's what they're called. Um, I used to find it quite hard to find a color that suited me, but these are very similar, very similar in concept. This is similar, but not the same. Now this is the Rev, is this Revlon? Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream, creme, in the color 525, does it have a name? Yes, Barely Blush. This is a little bit of a, cre it's like a cream. I guess we can say it's a gloss. So this is a color. It is beautiful, it is comfortable, and it is very long-lasting, surprisingly. I didn't expect much, because you know sometimes you think, oh, it's a drugstore thing, it's not going to 
be as good or you think that because it's a gloss or this type of cream type of formula i really was just like this is gonna slip and slide and off my face it doesn't she stays on she is good and it's a very comfortable wear again it's not sticky it's beautiful i really recommend this uh and they have some other colors i can't i will link up some of the other colors as well because i really love that formula then this is the one by max factor and it's called the color elixir cushion in the color nude glory now this literally is the clinique lip perfecter now i think there are other colors but this is obviously the color that suited me so i only bought the color that suited me because you know why would i buy this is this color and you can see there's like it's a deeper slightly more brownie nude i love this i wear this pretty much every day on top of my lip liners or any lipstick it is so comfortable it is so beautiful I'm just gonna put you know my 150th layer of lip product it's just so easy like i mean the little sponge thing applicator is not my favorite to look at because it gets grubby but it just does something to it and it's such a good product i really really recommend you go try this and you know it's a fraction of the clinique price so obviously you know there's that also but it's really good so you know these are my favorites and i hope you enjoy these are my favorite nudes you know i sent you my nudes <laughs> now you can send me your favorite nudes lipsticks kids don't send me any nudes don't do that don't do that don't do that so yeah, these are my top favorite nude products and I hope you enjoyed that. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite nude lip products are. You know, because remember, sharing is caring. And by the way, if you can hear a fan in the background, it's because the dog gets hot and you know, the queen needs to be cool because it is boiling. Shouldn't complain, shouldn't complain. We're grateful, we're grateful, we're grateful, but it's hot. Anyway, have a wonderful day and go and enjoy the sunshine. Stop looking at my face, go outside, go on, go outside. Or even just hang your body outside the window carefully safely with a good nude lipstick Have on. Have a good day guys. Okay, bye.